welcome. This instructional video will walk you through the process of setting up a point of sale BOS functionality on an Alibi DVR with a PC America cash register. It includes four sections an overview of the point of sale system integrated with an Alibi DVR, PC America POS system setup, Alibi recorder setup, and playback, keyword search, and export of video clips recorded on your DVR. Although this demonstration will focus on a PC America register, Alibi's POS driver is universal. It was designed to work with almost any PC-based register that's capable of sending out ASCII strings over a TCP connection to a port on your LAN. Your Alibi DVR will listen on the port that the register has designated to send this data. Most register software will have a place in the configuration menu where you can assign this port and also point to the Alibi DVR's destination address on the network. We will demonstrate how items sold on a register will appear on the DVR. You will also learn how to search for specific keywords during playback, export a video clip with POS data, and get tips on overall usability. Let's get started. First, we need to determine the IP address of your Alibi DVR. Log into your Alibi DVR with administrative credentials. Right click anywhere on the Live View desktop, and then click Menu in the pop up window. Click the configuration icon. In configuration, click Network. Verify that the Enable DHCP option is unchecked. This indicates that the IP address of your DVR is fixed, that is, unchanging. Also note that the IPv4 address shown here, referred to as the device IP address, is 192.168.1.11. Next, log into your PC America POS system with administrative credentials. In the transaction screen, click the Options button on the right, click the Setup button in the pop-up window, and then click Setup Screen. In the new window that opens, click the Hardware tab, and then click Page 2. Notice that the Server IP or Name field contains 192.168.1.10. This is the IP address of your POS system. The DVR Type field should show TCP IP. If not, open the drop-down list and select this option. Also, the DVR IP field must contain the IP address of your DVR. I already entered 192.168.1.11 here. The DVR IP port, the listening port in the DVR, shows 10,000. You can use a different port number, but be sure it is not in use in your network or by the DVR. By default, the DVR uses 80, 1050, and 8000 and may use other ports for special purposes. The DVR IP port number will be configured in a DVR for this POS system. After editing the information on the screen, click the Update button, and then click Exit to close the Options window. At your DVR, open the Menu window again, and then click the Record icon. In this example, we'll dedicate the camera on channel D1 to show and record POS data. Select channel D1 and then check the Enable Schedule box. Click the POS button on the right and then drag a rectangle across the areas of the time array when you want to record POS events. Click Apply to save your configuration. You can also schedule the camera to record continuously, record on motion or alarm events, and set up a schedule that combines different recording modes using the GUI or edit features on this menu. When doing that, it will still show POS data when it occurs. Return to the menu window and then click Configuration. In the Configuration menu, click POS in the left frame and then click the Overlay Channel tab. Since we're using channel D1 to show and record POS data, click D1 in the channel array and then click POS1 in the POS list. Click Apply to save this configuration. Next, click the POS Settings tab. On the top line of this menu, select POS1 if not shown. Check the Enable box, and then click the Settings icon. 
you can use these settings options to configure how your DVR will respond when a POS event occurs. Refer to your user manual for your DVR for more information about these settings. Next, open the POS protocol drop-down list and then select the appropriate option for your POS terminal. Refer to the documentation provided for your POS for this and other options in this menu. For a PC America terminal, select Universal Protocol. The connection type field should show TCP connection for this DVR. Next, click the Settings button. Here, edit the port field if needed to show the same port configured in the POS Options Hardware menu, 10,000. Click OK to close this window. Open the Character Encoding drop-down list and then select the option your POS system uses. Our PC America POS uses UTF-8 encoding. In the Text Overlay Mode field, select either Page or Scrolling. In the font size drop down list, you can choose either small, medium, or large. And change the overlay time if needed. Next, check the POS overlay in Live View box if you want to see the text in Live View. Click Apply to save your settings. Click the Advanced button. The default settings shown here are correct for our PC America POS. Change these settings for other POS types if needed, and then click Apply. To test this configuration, click the Get Text button at the bottom of the menu, and then enter some sales entries on your POS terminal. Messages should appear in the frames above. After successfully testing your setup, click Stop Getting to turn off this feature. Return to the Live View display for your Channel D1 camera. While watching the camera on your DVR Live View display, perform a sales transaction at the POS terminal. Here I sold Aquafina Water, BLK Diamond Cheddar, CB Bruschetta, and Wine Made Simple. Then click Pay and Cash. Meanwhile, messages appeared on the Live View display. I removed the camera video in this clip for clarity. You can see messages for the sale of Aquafina Water, BLK Diamond Cheddar, CB Bruschetta, and Wine Made Simple. Also, a summary of the final receipt and cash transaction appears. Notice, too, that the record icon is shown, meaning that the sale data and the camera video is being recorded. To play back the recording of this POS event, right click on the Live View display and then click Menu. In the Menu window, click the Playback icon. In the upper left corner, open the drop down list and then select Event. In the upper right corner, open the Major Type drop down list and then select POS. Select the camera overlaid with POS data and the start time and end time range for when the transaction occurred and then click Search. A list of POS1 video clips matching your search criteria will be listed. Here I sped up the playback and removed the camera image to just show the POS data. You can also perform a keyword search of POS data to find when the sale of a particular product occurred and playback the video. To do that, click the back button and then enter the character string you are looking for in the keyword field. Here I entered water. Select the start time and end time range for when the transaction occurred and then click search. The video clip I recorded earlier is listed here. You can export the file to Flash Media several different ways. One way is as follows. Return to the menu window and then click export and then click Event. In the Major Type field, open the drop-down list and then select POS. Edit the Start Time, End Time, and other search options as needed, and then click Search. A list of recordings that meet your search criteria will appear. Since I know when the video was recorded, I click List, then click the box in the Source column for the clip I want to export. You can also click the Play icon for the entry to verify your selection. 
insert a flash drive into a USB port of the DVR, and then click the Export button. You can double click on the directory where you want to save the file. Click Export and allow the process to complete. Here is the file I exported. Note that the video player utility is also exported. If you have any questions or problems, please call our technical support team at 877-995-2288, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time. We'll be glad to assist you. Thank you for watching.